Good afternoon, everybody. Happy TGIF day. I um, got a couple hour nap. That helped a ton. Not out of the woods yet, but that was a huge um, blessing and reward to be able to sleep solid for two hours. Dogs were zonk zonked out beside me, snuggled in, and I still got some pain, but it's I haven't loaded myself up severely with THC and CBD yet, so the prayers are working. Thank you. So I'm in my pop book, Portals of Prayer, for March 18th. Um, the first reading is from Mark 8. Do I have my Bible? I do not have my Bible right here, so I have to use my phone. It's 31 to 33. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. And he spake that saying openly, and Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. That's, oh boy, is that true? And the next one is Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were enlightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth him them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they seek the Lord, shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking gold. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, that delivereth them out of their own troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And he said this plainly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Mark 8, verse 32. Today's title is Plainly. O oh, Peter, <clears throat> you were so bold in your confession of Jesus as the Messiah. Yet we turn the page and here you are rebuking that same Messiah for what he is teaching. Why the sudden change? The plain speaking of a Savior has caught him off guard. A suffering, rejected, and killed Messiah is not part of the plan. 
Peter is riding high on a wave of crowds, miracles, and popularity. Jesus is becoming well-known as a teacher and miracle worker, and Peter is likely imagining even greater things to come. What he can imagine is that the greatest thing to come will be the cross. That terrible, wonderful cross laid bare for Peter and for us and any worldly desires for power and authority. Speaking plainly of his suffering and death, Jesus cuts our fear, greed, and self-centeredness to the core. We're reduced to nothing with no one to rely on but Jesus on the cross. And thank God for that. For on the cross, Jesus defeats sin and death, just as he promised. He speaks plainly about them to, that too. Though I think Peter had stopped listening by then. Our Savior Jesus, speaking plainly, did everything he promised. Dear Jesus, thank you for suffering and dying and rising victoriously from the grave. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Spread love, not war. All I can say, it's just the best thing to say. Spread love, not war. So, hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, I've got more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.